Day 3 of the World Cup in Qatar. The top athletes faced off on the platform to prove their excellence and close to the ideal physical condition, as only a few spots are available to qualify for Paris. Turukki. Media. Men's 61 kg division brought us intriguing results everyone hadn't expected. Namely, several lifters succeeded in moving out of their groups by prevailing their group's rivals. So, as a result, the top list of each round includes athletes of groups B and C. Watch this spectacular performance and get to know the top three athletes who rocked this battle. In the upcoming weightlifting competition, the clear frontrunner in this weight category is the Chinese lifter Li Fabing, who has been undefeated in international competitions since 2019, including the Olympic Games and three world championships. He will face strong competition from his teammate, the bronze medalist of the last world championship, Ding Hongxie, and Pak Myon Jin, who was just 3 kilograms short of Li Fabin's total at the last Asian championships. There is no doubt that the battle in this weight class will be fierce and uncompromising. Five out of eight competitors have declared a starting total of 300 kilograms, while the remaining three are not far behind, aiming for only 5 kilograms less. The performance in the snatch exercise started from 125 kilograms. On this contest day, 46% of all attempts were successful, which is a below average rate. Now let's analyze the top three lifters' performance. The third place was taken by Park Myon Jin with 134 kilograms. He showed two successful lifts, with the third one to be failed, namely the trying 136 kilos. However, the second attempt brought him bronze in snatch. Indonesian Irwan Ikoyuli became a silver medalist in this round. He lifted 136 kilograms on the second attempt, with the last one showing a red light when lifting 138 kilograms. Li Fabing showed high determination by lifting 137 kilos at the third attempt. It was a remarkable snatch that brought him first place. Speaking about the successes of our leaders, we can state the following. Li Fabing didn't reach his personal best result of 145 kilograms, which is a current world record he set in 2019 at the World Champs. While Pak Myon Jin missed only 2 kilos compared to his youth world record at the Asians in Hangzhou. By the way, Seniza John Fabular, who was fourth today, demonstrated his best snatch of 133 kilos, despite his 135 kilos no lift attempt. His previous best lift in this session was 131 kilos he did at the World Champs in Riyadh. Another lifter, Kim Chung Guk, improved his junior world record of 125 kilos he did at the Junior Asian Championships in Hangzhou. Unfortunately, this wasn't enough to get to the podium. The contest in the clean and jerk discipline started with a weight of 155 kilos. 33% of all attempts in this exercise were successful, which is a below average rate. Let's describe the performance of the top three lifters. Morris Hampton took bronze with his lift of 170 kilograms. However, he didn't manage to lift the barbell at the next attempts. Trying to lift 174 kilos twice, his efforts were in vain. Mohamed Anik 
succeeded in securing silver with the same weight, 170 kilograms. By the way, all his attempts were successful. However, these athletes moved to the Group A rank from the Group C. Being the highest ranked Commonwealth lifter in the overall standings, he participated at the Commonwealth Games where he set a new games record of 142 kilos in clean and jerk, winning Malaysia's first medal and first gold medal in the Games. The clean and jerk winner became Pak Myung Jin by lifting 171 kilograms at the third attempt. It needs to be mentioned that silver and bronze medalists moved from their groups and succeeded to outrank the Group A lifters who were leaders in the snatch round. Lee Fa Bing and Irawan Iko Yuli didn't perform in this round at all. The reason is that Lee got injured while snatching, so such conditions affected the further rating and other weaker opponents had an opportunity to improve their rating in the clean and jerk session. This day, the category was helmed by the promising Pak Myung Jin, who proved his power and persistence on the way to the gold medal. But this time, he showed a total of 2 kilos less compared to his 307 kilograms he performed at the 2023 Asian Games in Hangzhou. The second best result was done by a talented Filipino weightlifter, Seniza John Febuar, who lifted 298 kilograms. He managed to improve his personal best by 1 kilo. Attempting to dethrone his contender, Malaysian Muhammad Anik finished third with 296 kilograms. Compared to his results at the previous World Championships in Riyadh, he increased the weights and improved totals considerably by 5 kilos. We have already been assured many times that every great competition is impossible without unexpected moments that can affect the whole scenario. This competition day in Doha proved it once again. Even the most anticipated winners can be defeated or face unpredictable injuries. Li Fabing and Irwan Ikoyuli are bright samples of this statement. Nevertheless, we had an opportunity to witness new leaders who competed at such high-level world events for the first time and who succeeded to leave favorites behind miles away from the top spots. Leave your comments below about the following query. What the results would be if Li Fabing and Irwan Iko didn't withdraw from the clean and jerk round. Share your opinion and make predictions for other outcomes. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share our videos. Get exclusive insights on the performances of the most standout athletes. Like our video, stay strong, and remember, warm body, cold mind.